In this video, uh, we're going to talk about doing some distressing, using paint uh, to create that force. So I've got my, my piece of wood here that I've stained the ebony color uh, in through there. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some white over the top of it. So I've got this old little chip brush here. You could use uh, your foam brush if you can wash it out in your water jar there. Um, but what we're going to do is we're just going to apply that paint across our surface. So I've got my white and I'm just going to start by jumping in, grabbing some of that here. And I'm going to start with just a very light touch. You can even tap it on the edge there to, uh, to get rid of some of that. You can just do some really light brush strokes, barely, barely letting that touch the surface there. You can see these really neat marks that start to come out. You can go a little bit heavier if you want. You can uh, really kind of go at it if you, if you really need. Just little strokes. You know, you can do long strokes, but little strokes too, and you can kind of guide where some of that stuff is going to sit across through there. You can go as heavy or as light as you want with this distressing. It's really up to you. Your vision, you make it happen. You know, if you, uh, if you want more white on there, we can sand back down into this and reveal some of that black and even some of the natural wood underneath at times. So I'm gonna have to go a little heavy in some spots, a little light in others, and then we'll sand back in over the top of it with our 100 grit sandpaper. And we'll see how that looks. So already, just a few little strokes here. Then we haven't added a bunch. A little bit here, a little bit there. Some really cool stuff going on. You can really kind of hug those corners too if you want. Kind of make them pop. You can even quickly hit them from this angle here. ever do anything on these that you don't like well lie to yourself and everyone else and say that that's the spot that you had to work the hardest to make working the hardest at realizing that maybe it was accidentally on purpose one of the best parts about it who knows so we'll kind of spread that all around step back a bit see what I got going on in the hall Kind of, you can go random on it. You could, you know, make sure that some spots, you know. All right. So our dry brush that we did over the top uh, is dry, and you can usually check by turning it to the edges. If you see any shiny spots, uh, you can go ahead and, and let it dry some more. I like to cheat a little bit, and I use a state-of-the-art paint drying system, also known as a hair dryer. Uh, that works really well. The one thing is you. If you're using uh, the stencils, you don't want to put any heat to it. So I've got that all set up. I've got my 100 grit sandpaper. And I'm going to go back in and rough some of this up. I'm going to start by doing some of my corners. Kind of take that down. I can even take some of it down to the bare wood. And I don't have to do it everywhere. I can just do it in a couple little spots. And stand back down over some other little areas there. to go against the direction on this. I like those roughened edges down here. So I've got some of those little rough, rough spots down there, so they'll kind of hold some of that a little bit more than others. I can even take this down and reveal some of that wood grain underneath through here. Let me do some of that right along here. I don't want to look, you know, like it's all been kind of planned, but you know, it's been kind of worn. It's been around a while. It's distressed. And you do a lot of things to distress this. I'll make some other videos where I go in and I do some like really ultra distressing with uh, nails and screws and a hammer. 
And so look for look for that video. I guess if this is a YouTube video, I would say, and look over here for a video on how to do that. Let's see if that makes a cut. So I like the way this is looking. Put some of that white down the sun. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to take our paper towel here. This is okay if it's a little damp. That'll help to actually pull some of that dust off of there. Get our edges here too. All right. And that, my friends, is how to do a light, simple distressing. Uh, again, Follow me for more videos on how to do all sorts of different things. And I, I will do one with more distressing and different options on how to do that. So I thank you for joining me and uh, cheers.